been a lot of tremors lately. Hope the rocks around here haven't been shaken. Prince Noctis! Welcome back! Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nock's condition. Huh? Are you sure you're okay? Awesome. Dude! Oh, this is gonna be a party in my mouth. I dare say I can recreate this. Coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? You can be Professor Yegre this time. She's weird, I want to be a hunter. Bird enough. Thank you. 
か。All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. Fine by me. You drive your car, and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish, drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? 
That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Cothus. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you had knocked with no checkout time. I'm all for extra sleep. I'm not saying it. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeon is not going anywhere? Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall put the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Now this feels like a road trip. Yeah, go figure. Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Uh, if you'd rather not be in photos? Oh, I don't mind at all. Snap away for His Highness's collection. Uh, what? Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady. Freya. Blessed stars 
of life and light, deliver us from darkness blight. That is all I can do for now, but trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle. Thank you, Lady Luna Freya. Oh, Lady Luna Freya. I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. Should have done more, like taken her in. Damn right. Took a bunk at my place. Or mine. I'm sure the missus would understand. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Feel sorry for Lady Luna Freya if he doesn't. <laughs> He's got you there, Noct. Everyone would be like, Oh, she could do so much better than him. What does the Oracle need the Prince for anyway? <sighs> Imagination run wild much? Huh. Good morning to you. <clears throat> What can I do for you? Thank you kindly. Again. I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. For the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguy. Makes you wonder what it's like, down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy. 
your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be all right. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, um, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed, I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. We're here. Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello? It's me! Be so kind as to open up! Wow. That worked? I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with Divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. that one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. So we keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, eh, Highness? Let's grab it and go. Here we go again! This one's huge! Get away! Quickly! Knocked! I got you! Come on, pull yourself up! Ah. This is the 
Archean? Seems we woke the big guy up. He's trying to tell me something. But what? Knocked! You okay? Well, thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You too. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. their feathers anymore um try shutting your beak just offering sound advice yeah like a parrot in my ear to combust. for error here <laughs> no time to chill either make it quick just want this to be over Right? 
What now? Hey! Titan! What's the big idea? Save it. Get to solid ground first. <laughs> Faster! Calm down. I'm going as fast as I can. Almost there. Intruders. You want to talk? So do I. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Let's move. Sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We, Amicidia, are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. Gladio, your dad, I, I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? But isn't that your phone? Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. I got cut off. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. We finally made it. I know. I'm here! <laughs> Look 
the hell is it you want? Quit screwing with my head! You gotta be kidding me.
Still here? Yes. Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? Ah, what? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one!
it occurs to me, I never formally introduced myself. Izunia! Arden Izunia! Imperial Chancellor Izunia! At your service, and more importantly, to your aid! I guarantee your safe passage. Though you're always welcome to take your chances down there. Buried among the rubble, is it? Dying here is not an option. We have no choice, Doctor. I know. Thank the gods I found you, boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I said. Very generous offer for an Imperial. Come now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. that car of yours. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. 
We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockade shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archeans who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. Turned up by now? We wait until Cindy's done asking her garages before we speak. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask him to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He presents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Strand. Awaiting word from Brad. In the meantime, we'll have to hope. Look! It's Umbra! Someone sent us a message. Hear me, King of the Storm. The storm's nurse blessing. Will the path to the storm be opened? The oracle goes since in her king's name. Luna. Where is she now? The storm. When the covenant is forged, the oracle and rain shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. She's a messenger. A spirit. Faithful to the oracle. Oh. Uh, we're going beyond real now, pal. Let Luna know I'm okay, and I don't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal to mankind that we were trusting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait. My dad guarding? Yes. I had no idea. The crown of light is the column of the crystal. And keeping crystals safe until that day falls to the last of Jesus. And I'm the chosen. Yes. Own future king. Anointed by the crystal. Can purge all of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Mm -hmm. Here's the king. It's a 
circles a link. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king this voice is heard. To follow the birds is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes. The storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must of the king. Lin Freya has done well to keep Raven from falling into enemy hands. All we do is hit up and tells Pat aboard a ship. And us now as it did them then. Hidden harbor. <laughs> I'll have you set it up. So, in the meantime, head into the storm. Another day? 